Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going from Q2 of the uh, weekly contest 2.3, uh, number of orders in the backlog. So this is just a simulation. Um, you have to do things in a heap. I think that's the biggest part. Um, I actually had a, what did I do? Oh, I had a typo, that's why, but um, that somehow passed the examples. So I was fortunate and also sad. Um, but the idea is just simulation um, and using a heap. I use the sorted list, but it's the same idea as a heap. Um, but the idea is just matching up and having um, keeping track every step of the way. Um, okay, for example, and actually I think this is a binarysearch.com problem uh, or that I saw on binarysearch.com. Uh, let me let me go. I think I did I write an editorial about this one. Uh, let me let me take a quick look. Um, hmm. I guess it doesn't matter, but um, but yeah, the idea is just using a, a sorted list as a heap. Um, but for every amount, uh, let's say you know we have an order coming in, and we just simulate it, right? We go, okay, you know, this is actually just simulation, and it's pretty straightforward as a result using a heap or a sorted list or whatever you like. Um, but yeah, while amount while we have orders to fill, um. You know, if it's a buy order, we look at the sell side and we basically take everything that we can sell um, where the, the the price is, where the sell price is uh, cheaper than the price that we want to buy. And we do that, we we remove the first element, uh, which is the top of the heap if you do it that way. Um, we just keep track of the tr number of trades that we've done and then we remove it from the amount and also pre amount but um but the idea here is that okay if um yeah if there's any stock left um then we um then we put it back into the sell order um and if this is not true then this is you know this is going to keep going and then we just keep on going through the the uh the heap in that way so yeah and then the same idea with the buy side as well. So this becomes an implementation thing where, you know, instead of the smaller, you get the bigger and you just have to be careful about the signs. And at the way end, you just sum up all the leftovers on the buy order and the sell order. And then you you mod it. Uh, you also mod it in between. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, I had an issue where I, I had a typo where I, eh, silly mistake, where I put the P, P price instead. Um, but yeah. Uh, otherwise, pretty straightforward problem, maybe, I think, but, um, but yeah, um, so going over the complexity, this is going to be all of N orders, that's just the for loop, um, here, um, the key thing to note about these heaps is that for each of these order, it can only be inserted into the heap once, or mine uh we moved from the heap once right um because in in every order if you look at this independently um you you know each order we're going to be insert once or we moved once if we if we remove this um and then add it back on later then we never removed we never add the buy order right so that means that Either one of these has to be true so that means that in amortized and on average each order will be added and uh, removed a constant number of times. And because of this, and you know that the the sorted list slash heap operation, it's going to be log n. Uh, so each loop would, or each, each order will take log n time. Oops. So in total, it's going to be O of n log n t time. Uh, in terms of space, we have linear time for the two heaps. Uh, and that's basically it. Uh, and I, I use sorted list as a heap sometimes because, um, I don't know, I'm lazy. Uh, it's a little bit slower, I think. But, you know, as long as you're not doing anything too crazy inside, usually it's good. Um, don't take my word for it, though. So try it at home. Um, that's all I have for this problem. Let me know what you think. Uh, I had a typo, so that was a silly five-minute penalty. But yeah, uh, I will see you. Or you can watch me stop it live during the contest next. This is on the lead code.
I think. But uh, okay, there's a lot of reading there. I mean, this was on uh, binary search, I think. Price, amount, order type. And this example is fine, but. is by zero is by What do we return? The pricing all the orders from the input. Okay. Also mod, I have to remember to mod. It's okay. Something like that. Oh man. <coughs> Did I misunderstood the problem? Oh. I think I was thinking about the other farm. Let's see. Yeah, I just have to add these. Um, so I didn't need this executed then. Okay, it's fine. I keep it in there. F 
for a price amount in buy plus sell oh, whatever let's just do it this way F over from amount six and eighty four okay that looks good Huh, maybe I misunderstood this farm. I thought I was good. I watched it a little bit, maybe. Huh. Uh, let's see. How do I get 66 or 22? I misunderstood this. Hmm. Why do I have 66? This is buy, this is sell. Did I mess up somewhere? Oh, I messed up. Copy and paste. Okay, that is just silly. This is what happens when you copy and paste and or mentally and then you messed up. Ugh, silly, silly, silly. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about this farm. It was good, bad, I don't know. Uh, this was a interesting contest uh let me know what you think uh hit the like button hit the subscribe button join me on discord ask me questions here there wherever you like and and yeah have a great week have a great time uh stay good stay healthy stay well and to good mental health i'll see you next time Bye bye